Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Motors Compilation Sonic Purulence, which has all the non full length tunes. So, everything that was not on Vanished Cadavers. So you get the Acts of the Unspeakable demo, tracks one to five, an Act of Revenge demo, I'm sorry, but um, tracks six to eight, that's the split with Coffin Rot, and you get that fucking Morgue cover, which is badass, and then one of the things that really, really made me stoked to get a copy of this from Goat Throne I never got a copy of the uh, Necrobiome demo, and that was some of my favorite motor material, so like, now being able to enjoy, like, this demo that, you know, I, I should have got a copy of it when it came out, like, uh, I really like motor a lot, and uh, I, I slept on it, and then there's a track I didn't hear off this, uh, mixtape putrid altar of gore mixtape but i could have swore motor did like a live recording at reggie's but that's the only non-album stuff that's on here so like that's fucking badass i think because like this is pretty much a perfect compilation if you're a fan of motor and let's say you didn't know about them until the debut full length. By that time, all of this material was long, long gone. So, Aaron at Goat Throne Records was fucking rad enough to put everything in one place, 12 tracks, amazing compilation, like legit, everything about this. If you like Motor, I mean, you already know what to expect. It's like the modern autopsy. I meant the modern obituary. death metal, you like Mulder, I'm sorry. Especially if you like Midwest death metal, because it's like a mix of Florida death metal and cyanide and shit. It's fucking cool. And, you know, the fact that they have a morgue cover is like, alright, you know, they know their shit and it's a great cover, I mean... And again, if you don't know who Morgar, yo, real quick. There's a full length called Eroded Thoughts. It's amazing. And... I'm a big fan of this demo. Severe psychopathology. Awesome stuff. But just the fact that Morg could have covered any song they wanted and they chose like something kind of obscure like Morg. That just goes to show that they love the scene that they come from and they appreciate I would say the influence of just being there, you know, first and laying down that death metal flag that has stood tall in the Midwest since fuck, like the 80s. And that's awesome. Because there's few areas in the states where 
you could say like, hey, yeah, from day one, when it came to like death metal, we had a scene. Like I would say Texas can say that, Florida, New York, and the Midwest. Oregon had their own thing going on also. And Washington, California, everybody did. But to me, you can kind of tell the difference between Northeastern death metal at the time, like, for example, early incantation just has that, like, super dark, fucking heavy, like, foreboding sound to it. Like, here's the morgue cover. Like, I just think it's badass to cover a morgue song. Great artwork. But we have Aaron, Kyle, and Dominic. I also like the solo project that Aaron has granulated. But like motor vanishing cadavers, vanished cadavers. Sorry about the like stuttering. I've just like I said before, I have good days and bad days with my brain. Today's not really the best, but I really, again, like, I just love attention to detail on stuff. And, like, you know, the full length on tape using, like, the same font as the compilation. I just, I, I really like, I like shit like that. Just little tiny additions that, you know, they don't really change the way the tunes sound, but aesthetically, I find it pleasing. And, like, just look at that cover. It's fucking great. And if you're a fan of death metal, I like, like I said, I consider this, like, essential American death metal. And that's just my personal opinion. And, like... I'm just trying to see who did the cover art. I'm sorry. Fuck. I, I can't find a name. Is it Cal Dickens? No. That's not. Fuck. I'm sorry. But, yeah. The cover is fantastic. It's just like some sentient glob of something slimy and just... It matches with motor sound, and it's just a great, like I said, this compilation gets a lot of playtime because of that necrobiome demo that, like, I really liked, you know, an act of revenge, and when I heard that second demo, that was when I really, really, really realized, like, all right, Motor it has something special going on, like, but Head Split at that point had sold out of the uh, the cassette of the demo, if I remember, and that was kind of the end of that. But luckily, when I got that Goat Throne package. Aaron sent over the motor compilation, and yeah, I've just, I, I pretty much, like, legit, I keep it on the B-side, and I just, like, rewind, and yeah, I'm just, I'm a total fucking nerd for the B-side here. Don't get me wrong, the A-side's great, it's just, I really, really just love the songs on the B-side, they're really fucking good. And everything about this compilation, if you are a band and you have a couple demos and like a split and you want to do a compilation, I highly recommend doing it. From my personal experience with the Cursed Womb, like, we're still releasing year one material, but these are 100% 
sold out. So we're sold out internationally. But we have a 500 international CD run. The colors are inverted. If you have a copy, it will be like remastered and shit. But different cover art on a pro CD. 500 copies internationally as we as a band no longer do international shipping thanks to one individual that took advantage of um, one of our musicians who runs like the mail order side of things and wasn't it wasn't too cool it was something that could have easily just been taken care of with an email but I don't wanna get into all that but if you wanted a copy of you know the hymns compilation hymns of misery and death verminosis just sold out so this at the moment is out of print on cassette so that's just a heads up like if you missed the cassette and you're like ah oh, fuck like I really wanted to you know just get a copy like I said we have the CDs coming so if you're more of a CD person we have you covered and if all goes well we'll have the crushing the larva of Christ demo on vinyl yellow vinyl Again, going with the Rona yellow slash king and yellow color scheme, which was actually the plan from day one. And I didn't think we were going to actually have, like, I, I didn't think it was going to happen. I'll, play, I'll be dead honest. Like, I, I had no idea we were going to, you know, eventually reissue the material like more than once and I, I'm just beyond like grateful for everyone that supported a cursed womb and I know that you folks don't really want black t-shirts at the moment I don't really know why but like I don't know we're, we're trying to do something a little bit different and if we're going to sell shirts, we want you folks to be stoked. So here's a little question. Because we keep getting hit up about repressing these. And it's a lot of money. Especially right now. So, like, if we were to do a shirt, it seems like you folks don't want black and white. And I can understand, you know, it is whatever, but, like, we're not going to do any tie-dye, like, bullshit. I'm sorry. Like, and, you know, it is what it is, but, like, we're not duck hunters. We're not, like, we don't live in, like, the wilderness part of Pennsylvania. So, like, don't expect, like, camouflage t-shirts. That's not us. That's not who we are. Like, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of hunt hunting. I think it's cruel and that's just my personal opinion it's whatever i'm not like you know a vegan or anything i just wouldn't appreciate it if i was drinking my cup of coffee and had to worry about some fucking deer in an orange jumpsuit that's gonna shoot me with a crossbow fuck that it's terrifying <laughs> so yeah i don't know i just I, I i never really unless you're obituary like, to me, like, I know all those bands, they, they do the hats, and it just seems like, oh, it's such an easy, like, I don't want to say cash grab, because it is a cool merchandise item, but at the same time, like, if you have the orange, like, logo, and you're paying homage to Obituary, the only reason you should buy that hat is if you can't get the Obituary original. Uh, but, I mean, if you like one band more than Obituary, then hey, 
you know, go get that band's version of the obituary hat. Because things go in circles. Like, I remember, <laughs> dude, if you had an I Hate God trucker hat, like, you were Mr. You, like, you were the cool guy at the show. Like, it was weird for a time period when it came to certain merchandise items from certain bands. Like, if you saw somebody at a show with, like, a fucking, like, original hand spray-painted, like, fucking Despise You t-shirt or, you know... Just even, like, seeing somebody in the wild with, like, a Doom UK, like, shirt back in, like, 2004. It was just, like, whoa. Like, you kind of knew. It was, like, you know, that person listens to cool tunes. And, like, I started going to, like, house shows and, like, house parties where, you know, you would have more, like, grind and crust punk oriented bands and just because I was friends with them they started booking skeleton proof tanks that were a death metal band and we really didn't fit in but we you know would get those crowds stoked and yeah like we always loved playing house shows like it was just like one of those things like it was always an adventure like having just not knowing when like, when the cops were going to kick the door down. Not knowing if you were even going to get the play. But once you got up there and, like, it was time to go. Dude, you were going to have... Like, nowadays, you couldn't pay me to go to a basement show. Like, not just with my injury. Just with the way the world is now. You That's way too tight of an area. But shit used to get wild. Like, fucking wild. People, and here's the thing. If you're in a band right now, and, like, let's say you're booking a tour for winter, be careful playing house shows. Why I'm saying this is people will steal your equipment. It's Because if you're playing a house show... Chances are it's not in the best neighborhood. It's just the way it is. And you really just got to know your surroundings. And especially if you're from out of town and you don't know, like, this house might be on one of the biggest carjacking blocks in the city. You might not know that. And park the car with your equipment still in it. Go and make sure, hey, is it cool if we load in? You put your equipment either down the basement where they have a house set set up and you just bring your symbols and shit, which is the way to go. Or you have a bunch of band equipment that's just sitting down the basement or upstairs. Like, you, you really have to be careful. You need somebody around your equipment and merchandise at all times. I had an entire box of merchandise along with the money we made that night stolen by turning my back. It took that fast. Like, I turned around, I leaned over and, like, grabbed something out of the trunk of, uh, the old station wagon at the time and that fast somebody stole our merchandise box and just ran the fuck off i th I, th I think they took it on like a, a bike or something but i don't know it sucked but just that's a heads up and a warning for the road keep an eye on your band equipment even if it's at a regular venue there's always going to be some scumbag that needs like a new distortion pedal sees that oh you're sponsored by blarga blar next thing you know you're missing a fucking distortion pedal and it sucks like 
You don't want to be in those types of situations. So if you're a touring band, always keep an eye on your merchandise and most importantly, your band equipment. But like I said earlier, this to me is an essential slab of American death metal. Showing the early years of Mulder building up to vanished cadavers and... I really, really love the Sonic Purulence compilation. Hails to Aaron at Goat Throne, and hails to one of my favorite bands from the Midwestern states of America. Fucking awesome. And as always, thank you for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.